Hey guys, uh, this is Normal for Technic, and in this video, we'll see how to create a personal hotspot or uh, Wi Fi uh, share your wi internet connection using Wi Fi personal hotspot on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 um, has two variants one supports 3G and another supports 4G LTE. So, if you have a 3G or 4G LTE connection on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3, you can uh, use this. Uh, to share the connection to other devices namely laptops or other mobile phones or uh, uh, tablets etc so we'll see how to create a personal hotspot so for that uh, click swipe from the notification bar and uh, select the option uh, settings from here so click on settings so this will option of open the settings on uh, your device and select the connections tab so now you can see the option uh, tethering and port personal hotspot option here so you can see share your device mobile data connection via, US, via USB, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So those are the three options you can either connect to via USB or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So let's uh, get started with um, creating a personal hotspot. So now you need to turn this off, uh, turn this on, this feature. So portable Wi-Fi hotspot sharing. So right now we have uh, turned on. You can see the warning, attention, uh, enabling port personal uh, uh, portable Wi-Fi hotspot will turn on Wi-Fi. So click OK. So now this will uh, turn on personal hotspot. So you can see it's now currently active. So it will what it does is so it will uh, share your current um, uh, internet connection on the device like the 3G or 4G onto um, uh, I mean other devices. So you can see you can configure the personal hotspot settings. So you can see here. So you can see here uh, allow devices connected. So click here and all devices. So you can select uh, either all devices or only allow devices. So no devices have been connected right now. So turn on Wi-Fi on the other device. Find the Android AP in the Wi-Fi network list and connect to Android AP by entering the password. So enjoy internet um, with portable Wi-Fi hotspot. So this is the default password uh, which has been uh, created by the device. So you can turn on and the, the SSID is uh, Android AP. So you can configure this from the button available here. So you can select uh, the SSID here. You can change to something either like Note 3 or Note 3 internet etc. Whatever you feel. Uh, then you can also set the password. So if you feel that the default password is uh, hard to remember, you can set up your own password uh, here and then uh, uh, save uh, the option. So that will be the default password uh, for the um, Wi-Fi connection. So that's a portable Wi-Fi hotspot. You can also use um, U um, to USB tethering. So right now no USB devices are connected. connected. So hence a USB tethering will not work. So the good advantage of uh, sharing the internet connection via USB is that it will also uh, charge your phone during um, the sharing. So when you use the personal hotspot or um, uh, USB to share your internet, it will take up your battery. And if you are not uh, kept the phone with uh, in the charging mode, it will end up uh, taking up the battery on the device. So if you are using USB tethering, the good advantage is that uh, your device will be charged during the time your uh, internet connection is shared. So that's another good advantage. Apart from that, you can also set up Bluetooth tethering so you can um, you can turn on Bluetooth and then access the options here. So that's the that's another good option now for sharing the uh, internet connection on your device. So that's how you set up a tethering and personal hotspot on um, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So once you have a good connection, the 3G or 4G LTE on your Samsung Galaxy Note 3, you can share it to other devices, namely the laptops, uh, tablets, and other mobile devices. So using this option. So that's uh, how to share the uh, internet connection on your Note 3 and if you have any queries uh, drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your queries. If you like this video hit the like button, uh, subscribe for more videos like this and thanks for watching this video.